Hello truckers and adventurers, welcome back to SnowRunner main region. We are on the Yellow Rock map and uh, we are doing the support local ranger job. We came up here to get the scout trailer, which unfortunately does not hook up to the to our wonderful little jeep here. Um, we're about to venture on down the road a bit and I'm wondering if we're going to be able to get across the river here or not. So we're just going to scooch on down there and see what uh, what the river has to offer. I mean, we can see a little bit of island jumping from maybe from here to there. So we are going to see here in just a moment. Let's fire up the good old Jeep here. Uh, I think low plus will be something I might want to just start off in. And luckily the the trailer, even though the legs are down, it, it's moving along well enough. So I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Yeah, my Jeep could use a little bit of repair on it. The suspension is not looking the greatest. Gearbox has some damage to it. The engine has got some damage to it as well. But once we get down to this road, maybe in the near future, I can get a maintenance vehicle over here. I need to open up that gateway. Maybe I'll focus on getting two of the four steel beams over required to open up that gateway. We already got the wooden planks already brought up to that, that gateway there. Uh, yeah, why are you trying to go into deep water? I, I don't know. I wanted to wash the Jeep, I guess. Oh, yeah. The con and these small brush trees don't get along too well. I hope I don't get flung somewhere. Can I get over this log? Can't use the wench because I'm using the wench to haul the scout. Whoops, uh, that tree I know I can't push down. I I'm using to haul the trailer. Uh, what is stuck here? I don't think it's the jeep. I think it's the trailer that's actually stuck. There we go. We're free. Kind of. Shouldn't really try to be traveling in the snow here, but... Let me put on diff lock, see if that helps me out a little bit. Uh, Alright, let's try going over this log. Actually, it's a full tree. Trailer may have an issue. Nope, trailer is going forth. Right, let's get back off the snow here and get back onto some solid, solid, stable ground. Snow's not too stable, in my opinion, for this, for this game anyways. Uh, let's turn off diff lock so we don't damage anything. Well, we can actually see the drop-off point. That's showing up on the map. Every time I get stuck, I get just a little bit concerned. Uh, Alright, maybe not try to go through those trees too much. Let's go back down here and we'll just stay on the, uh, the shore of the swamp. Maybe that's my best option. For being a swamp per se, it doesn't seem to be that that murky, that muddy compared to other places I have been. Oh, there is a pathway here, a road. And there is a river we're crossing and that does not look that bad. But those are the ones that get me. sun is setting so maybe once we get this delivered or maybe if it gets too dark we'll have to advance time but I'd like to get this job done once we cross the river I don't have to go that far at all to get to where a drop off point is 
Ooh, okay, a couple of deep spots right there. I didn't think it was deep because I could see the rocks. But then I sank out of sight. Uh, yeah, I think my trailer is getting hung up on some rocks. Uh, how deep is this section right here? Problem is, when it gets that deep, it's hard to see the big rocks underneath the water level. I did refuel the Jeep just before I started recording, so I got about another full tank on the roof rack ready to go if I need it I mean I will need it at some point just I don't think so for this job all right now we just got to get up the hill and just on the other side of this hill is the road Probably should throw in my lights, huh? Uh, am I stuck on a tree trunk? What am I stuck on? Don't know. So we'll just back up. Uh, maybe put on diff lock if I can. Alright, is it the trailer that's stuck? Oh, there we go. Just had to, you know, give a little bit of a helping assistance there with a little bit more acceleration on the Jeep. It's the only thing about this con, it, the, the little trees, they almost act like rubber bands sometimes. Might have been an easier... Yeah, it looks like it might have been easier <laughs> place to come up right over there. Come on, trailer. I could detach from the trailer and then... But I'm hoping the trailer is not going to... Go down, but that works. Release, catch, release, catch. Uh, turn diff lock off. And it's right there. The camp is right there. We shall make it. This road's not that bad. We've been crossing this road a few times. Well, it's good to know that we can cross the river where we did. So now we got a few crossing points on the map. One on the southern part, one in the middle, and one, well, the bridge itself that we got done. Alright, here is the Forester trailer getting delivered. Gotta get the trailer in the drop off point. There we go. Thank you very much. Uh, park and break, and we'll turn off that engine. Alright, let's get over to the other map uh, because that's where all the steel beams are, lowlands. Uh, yeah, we can see all the steel beams where they're located. Currently, the Varongrad is down here. That's all set with our trailers. So if I can grab two metal beams. Yeah, how many are at this location? Two metal beams. Okay. Uh, what can I grab? That's the crane on the Paystar. What else do I got there? Uh, Caterpillar International... Dairy Longhorn is there. The Azov is up here. Uh, 
Let's jump into the A's off and see. What did I have attached to that? Oh, I think I had a, I brought a, a vehicle up there. Yeah, I brought a vehicle up here and dropped it off. All right. Uh, but I don't have a trailer with this. All right, what we can do is we'll just go ahead and recover this. We'll leave the garage. Uh, wait, did I fast forward to morning? I have not. All right, 6 a.m. Put some lights on. Uh, do I have a trailer here? Do I have a spare trailer? I uh, don't want that trailer. So we'll buy one. I got enough cash where I can buy one. Okay, trailer. Uh, wait, can I hook up a trailer to this? Yeah, so I got the crane on here, so I cannot put a trailer on because... The crane is pushing the bed back of the truck too far back for a trailer. Um, any other ones I can possibly... Semi, semi... Super heavy semi. Nope, don't need that. Um... All right, so this truck is not going to be what we're looking for. Let's push this to the side. Uh, where's my ANK? Oh, the ANK might actually have the service trailer. Uh, we'll turn off the lights. Turn off the engine. I think the ANK is up here with a service trailer. All right, it is. Uh, we will actually detach the service trailer and then we'll recover the ANK. Leave the garage. Now let's go get a trailer with this one. Don't run into that fire hydrant, man. Okay, trailer store. Uh, what trailer is that? Um, that says that they'll give me four slots. That will give me four slots? Whoops, wrong one. Um... Well, I, I can only grab two anyways because the semi-trailer on the wrong rack can only handle two. So let's not get overexcited about that. Uh, I think we'll just grab that. All right. Now let me relook at the map just to be sure. I could actually grab... I think there's, uh, there's four metal beams there. But I'm going to grab these two. I got to go over across here anyways. So, down across the river, as we know, I'm just going to mark it, just so I don't forget. Because, you know, it happens. Okay, let's go this way. Take our lovely little shortcut. down through here you should know the shortcut by now yourself uh wait does the Varongrad have a crane on it I think it does so I need a crane to get the metal beams out of the back of these two units onto the flatbed.
then I can use this setup to go get two more metal beams somewhere else. Now, actually, you know what? The Varongrad, where it is at the gateway, I don't think I want to take that gateway, even though it brings me back out to the fuel station. I think I want to take the other gateway. Because it'll be closer to the gateway that we're trying to open. Gateway is galore. Ah, getting across the river. I got nothing to attach to. Am I really going to get stuck here? Alright, if I go to low, low, we're moving. Slowly, we're, 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 get, we're moving. I don't know what is up with this part of the river right here where I always try to cross, but going this way, it bogs me down. I come through with like the Varon Grad, something like that, and the semi-trailer, I go through this no problem. But the ANK doesn't like it. And we got nothing to attach to. Try low plus. There we go. Now we're starting to get some momentum. Try to stay close to trees and whatnot to help me get across if I need it. hard to believe that the trailer is going to bog me down that much. I mean, I can see it's, you know, slowing us up a little bit, but... And the winch can't quite reach anything else. So right now I'm just moving the tires back and forth. I can reach that log over there, but that's not quite well as trying to reach. I might be stuck stuck. Uh, no, we are moving a little bit. Painfully. I thought that little tree right in front of the truck right there, I thought I could attach to that. All we needed to do was cross the river. Well, I could do the trick where I detach from the trailer, but then I'll have to use the wench to get her to cross. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And what kind of sucks is the river's trying to drag my trailer down the river.
Come on, ANK. Get across and we'll get the trailer up on shore. And then we'll reattach to it. Now reattach. Trailer's too far away. Are, are we are we sure about that? I feel like it wasn't, but all right. Let's go try to grab some metal beams here. Yes, load those up, and then load those up. All right, now let's see if we can get across the rest of the river. Maybe the extra weight will help us uh, push through the mud underneath and get down to more solid ground to give us better grip. Yeah, all-wheel drive and diff lock are always on the ANK. So, don't need to be turning those on or off to make it better. Well, I've already gone through half the fuel on this thing. No visible wench point. Really? And apparently that tree <laughs> is not good enough for what we got here. And the last part of the river to get through. At least I hope. And I guess we can attach to that tree for a little while. <laughs> None of the trees around here are strong enough. Well, the front end is out of the river. Okay, let's go back to low plus. How about high gear now? That'll work. And we're just going to come up here and park on the road. All right, and this is where you're going to sit until I get back, right? You're going to behave yourself? We hope so. So, yeah, the wrong ride is down here. Let's go meet up with that. And yes, we do have a crane on here, which I was like 95% sure. So the reason we're going to the other gateway is because that's going to be... A lot closer to the gateway we're trying to unlock and I do have a fuel tanker not far from there where I can top off with fuel which I definitely want to do only thing about this is I got to go through this river like five times at this point on this map Yeah, 
Yep, we got another flatbed sitting right here. Put on all-wheel drive. High gear might be better going through this. back to automatic and try to plow through the river as much as we can. It's going to leave all-wheel drive on because every time we get to the river it's going to help us out. All right, fourth gear. Yeah, high gear, a little bit too much. I think this might be the last part of the river we got to cross before we get to the ANK where the steel beams are. try to park right between them. That way the crane can reach both of them easily. Right there is good. Alright. I think that the engine does have to be running to use the crane, if I remember. So we'll leave it running. Uh, let's get... Oh, you know what I gotta do? I was like, wait a minute, why doesn't let me uh, unpack from that? Well, I need to change trucks. And I need to unpack cargo. Alright, they're both unpacked. Change trucks. And then crane mode. There we go, and then let's extend this out and over to try to lift it out of the back of Wait, did that not un... I'm attached to it, so it looks like it's still strapped into the back of the trailer. That's one way to do it. Just, just force, just brute self <laughs> it on out. That'll work. Uh, let's release that. Uh, let me go and escape. Go back in. I'm going to pack that cargo. Just so it doesn't go anywhere. Now I'll come over here and hopefully it'll lift right out. That crane does not want to lift that any, anywhere. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. All right, lift it up. And all we really got to do is put it down on top of this. 
Uh, that might not be... That might be a far enough back? Unpack cargo. Pack cargo. There we go. We got it both. Perfect. Um, restore crane. And we are good to go. With two of the four steel beams that required to open up this tunnel. So we'll get on the other map, we'll top this off with some fuel. And then make our way out to the gateway, and then this have to come back the same way. Yeah, no real easy way around this part of the river. We just got to sit here for about five minutes or so. Yeah, I think the best way to get the steel beams over there is the way we're going. And then we'll come back and we'll let the ANK get two more steel beams for us. And we'll figure out where to meet. But the ANK does not have a whole lot of fuel left into it. Although I could just leave the, the trailer that we're using where it is. I could always recover the ANK and drive back out to it. Because it took a lot to get across that river with the trailer. Now the trailer's on this side. Well, nothing to wench to to help me pull along this river. And the river is pushing us downstream a little bit. Is it like diff lock in the water? I mean, we are moving. Step by step, inch by inch. I don't think I got anything to attach to currently. And now I'm starting to question if I'm moving. Well, uh, attaching to the red car is not going to help me. That's just going to pull me down the river more. But we are we are slowly going forward. Okay, that log it will I'll attach to. That's going to help me go forward. Now that the truck is mostly out of the the river, I think we'll move a little bit faster. Can I attach to that tree? Apparently not. All right, diff lock, turn that off. The other parts are not as bad. Water is so muddy, you can't see what's underneath it. Wow, made such a nice entrance into the river, we flipped the car over.
Is it one more I gotta go through? Might be one more. Nope, that, that's it. We, we've made it to the gateway. Thought there was one more. And to the gateway we go. Alright, let's get to the fuel tanker. We'll top this off with fuel and make our way through the power line, through the snow, to grandmother's house we go, and then try to find our way up through the woods, to the warehouse, and then to the gateway. Right, is this close enough? to refuel uh, refuel carrier I've gone through half of the fuel in that carrier already well about halfway out here we're gonna come across the cat truck with the trailer that I was trying to bring back out Maybe on the way back, if I haven't gone through a lot of fuel, I may put a little bit of fuel into the cat truck. And then each time I go past, if I keep putting enough fuel into it, I can keep dragging it further and further out. And eventually I'll get it back out to the fuel carrier out here. But the way my luck has gone in this region of this map, I'm not holding out on having a lot of fuel in it in anything. Ah, there's my Tuz. Kind of forgot the Tuz was out here. Don't really know really what shape that's in. Don't see any fuel on the roof rot, so can't be... Oh. Uh, Diplock? Uh, what can I wench do here? Probably the trailer. The back of the trailer on this tree here. Gonna leave Diplock on, I think. Well, I could always just take the Tuz out to the fuel carrier and, and top off the roof rack on that and bring that out to the cat. I think the cat is where the power line is down, where that job is. Come on, get some weight on the front wheels so they help us turn. Be nice. I always try to avoid to go down in that ditch, and it may not be as bad as it looks. have a little bit of concern of getting around once we go through these power lines and I think it's right where the cat is currently parked 
getting around that corner where the rocks are can cause us some issues. Well, I can see the cat right in front of us. Although that cat truck going through this snow, terrible. Although I really haven't found anything that's been spectacular going through the snow either. One thing I still haven't gotten into this game are the mods. I know there are tons of mods out there for SnowRunner. I just never really gotten into uh, looking on getting any mods because what's in game I kind of enjoy, but I feel like it's. I may have talked about this before. Maybe just like when I used, you know, started playing farming simulator way back when, and I thought the base game was just fine the way it was and then I started using mods and then realized you know holy crap you know <laughs> mods make the game so much better and probably the same for SnowRunner yeah so this is the corner I get concerned about getting around easy on this rock that, that for that reason uh, there is something in that big boulder over there that sometimes you can... Well, not that. That. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 don't. I've never tipped over here like this before. There we go. Timing could be worse, really, for the daytime. I say that just because I got to go up through the woods. So it's either do it at sunset or try to do it at sunrise. And I think I'm going to try to do it at sunset. I'll throw on the lights. Not that it's doing that much difference. Doesn't like having diff lock on right now. Yeah, so this is always the questionable part. And I get nervous about this now because I came down with a cat in the trailer at the beginning, uh, just before the beginning of last episode. I took the wrong path down through here. And boy, was that a mess. It took me about 20 minutes to get out of the mess I put myself into. Wait, what? Are we stuck on a limb or something? Yeah, it looks like we were stuck on a limb. I'm actually, <laughs> in real life, leaning forward in my chair try and leaning down, trying to get a better view through the trees and the limbs. Now we can see. Right, let's put it into high gear. And we get two of the four done. But that's huge. Because this really means just one more trip and we'll have this gateway open. Um, how much will I use this gateway? Not too sure. The other two gateways have their benefits. This one here, it's just going to be nice to have currently. I don't really see the huge benefit 
for me. Other than I do have a maintenance trailer not far from the gateway on the other side. But that's about it. Let gravity do its thing. Alright, I don't think I can really turn around here that well. But backing up all the way to the warehouse to turn around doesn't seem like a great option either. Try to avoid the speed limit sign. And we did, I think. Yeah, we did, by a lot. Okay. So the good news is I made it out here using less than a half a tank of fuel. I do want to get a fuel tanker out to this warehouse... And I may bring it via the gateway once we get it open. I just... I already have gone through half the fuel in the other fuel tanker. Right, I should be able to see my tracks. Where I came up, right? <laughs> I cannot see where I, I came from. Hope I'm not goofing up like I did with uh, the cat in that trailer. Nope. That's what, this is where we need to come out. Perfect. Alright. I'm actually going to leave this parked right here. And what I'll do is... In between episodes... I will bring this back over uh, across through here. I'll drive it back out through here get across the gateway. Uh, but let me just go back over to the lowlands. So, yep, here is that. What do we got here? We got two. We got one metal beam there. We got one metal beam there. I wonder if I got enough fuel and the ANK to come out here and get these beams and then make it back out. 36% fuel. Well, it doesn't hurt to try, I guess. Uh, but let's go ahead and... Yep, 6 a.m. Uh, let's see, where do I need to go now? Wait, how come it's not showing the metal beams... Yeah, I know I got metal beams out there, but where... It's not showing me where it was here. <laughs> Hang on a second. That's kind of weird. Let me go back to this map for a second. All right, we'll go back to this map here. Oh, what did I do? Click on garage? Must be I did. Uh, A-N-K? Hello? A-N-K? Where are you? There you are. Well, we'll head out there. Uh, I know roughly where they were. We've been through this area before. I don't think with the amount of fuel I have left, I'm going to be able to get out here with the trailer, grab two metal beams, and get back out to the road. I 
Wait, is one of them just right here? This might be a job that I haven't taken yet. Well, we'll just venture out here and see what's available to us. Uh, we'll go ahead and take that. That's called a big loss. All right. Uh, I was told, as I mentioned last episode, and I am recording this before that episode goes out. Apparently, there's a job called, like, the Titan that will give me, like, a logging trailer. Uh, where's the river that we cross? Is there a place to cross here? There is. I think steel beams are here. Let me go ahead and just mark that. That's where I need to go. I don't think I crossed the river at this point yet. We crossed it to get to the warehouse just a little bit more downstream. And this truck does not cross the river well. Yeah, I'm going to burn all my fuel just to get across the river. Uh, maybe. And I may be stuck just right here. Well, I don't have nothing to winch to, so let's uh, detach from that. I have no idea, but I'm not getting across the river with this truck. I don't know why I attached to it. It could have been the trailer itself. I'm guessing there's a like a boulder or something underneath the river that I can't see. Or in the river. Well, let's back up a little bit. Lights are on, but they're not. No one's home. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not getting across here at all. I mean, this is a place to cross, but... Yeah. So, the trailer... I'm going to leave the trailer there. And you know what? Recover. Yeah, we don't do hard mode here, by the way. <laughs> So, this truck is not what I'm looking for. Do I fancy taking the the Dairy Longhorn? Oh, that's the wrong button for park and brake. That's the right button for park and brake. Wrong game. Uh, let's turn off that engine. I mean, I could take the Dairy Longhorn over. I don't know what else I got for trucks in the garage. Uh, but I'll have a look at it, but I think next episode we are going to try to get that gateway open. It's just a matter of what do I want to use. I could grab the Dairy Longhorn and bring that on down, grab the other uh, semi-trailer, which is over at the gateway down at that end. I'm getting bad camera views for you guys here at the end. Uh, grab that and then go grab the two steel beams and then meet the Varongrad on this map somewhere and transfer the beams from one trailer over just swap trailers even that might be even easier but anyways uh we made if you made it this far in the video and you like what you saw maybe think about giving the video a thumbs up and if you haven't already and you think about doing so please do subscribe but that's where we're going to wrap it up for today hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode 
I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in SnowRunner. But until then, have a good one.